Welcome. In this video, we will see how to implement chaining in Hadoop using Chain Mapper and Chain Reducer library classes. Here, we first split a single map reduce job into multiple mappers followed by a reducer and then if required another chain of mappers. After that, we chain those using chain mapper and chain reducer library classes. Let us see its use with an example. We have written a map reduce job using chain mapper and chain reducer library classes through which we will find the average maximum temperature on a particular date from a temperature record. This is our input.csv file. It is a temperature record of different states. It has records of zip code of different regions, date, time, state, maximum temperature and minimum temperature. Now we will see step by step explanation of the program. First mapper class map1 extends from mapreduce base class and implements from mapper interface which has four parameters. Long writable as input key class, text as input value class, again text as output key class and lastly double writable as output value class. In first mapper we have separated date and max temperature fields from input file. Here key is date and max temperature is value. These fields become input to mapper2. Second mapper class map2 extends from map reduce base class and implements from mapper interface which has four parameters. Text as input key class, double writable as input value class, again text as output key class and lastly double writable as output value class. In second mapper we have removed year part from the date. Output date has only month and day which becomes input for reducer. For reducer parameters are same as mapper2. In reducer we have taken average of temperature values with respect to date which functions as key. For mapper3 parameters are same as mapper2. In last mapper we have compared the average temperature with 30. If average value is more than 30 it is written to output file. Let us now chain these individual mappers and reducer using chain mapper and chain reducer library classes. Create a jobconf object map1.conf for first mapper. Call the chain mapper.addmapper method and pass the parameters as follows. Job as main job object, map1.class as mapper, long writable as input key class, text as input value class, text as output key class, double writable as output value class, true as a boolean value, map1conf object as mapper1conf. Similarly, Create a job conf object map2.conf for second mapper. Call the chain mapper.addmapper method and pass the parameters as follows. Job as main job object, map2.class as mapper, text.class as input key class, double writable as input value class, text as output key class, double writable as output value class, true as a boolean value, map2.conf object as mapper2conf. For reducer, create a job conf object reduce. Call the chain reducer dot set reducer method and pass the parameters. For mapper3, follow same procedure as mapper2. Call the job client dot run job and pass job as a main object. Lastly, using tool runner dot run, we run the map reduce job. We have already created the jar file for this job. We will run this jar file. To do so, execute this command. Now open browser and type the link. Click on browse the file system. Select user, select Hadoop, open output file. As we can see the output file displays average of max temperature as per date. Thus in this video we have seen how to implement chaining in Hadoop using chain mapper and chain reducer library classes with an example. Thank you.